Hi. Today I'm going to talk about what are the different types of Chandra Sakuma. Chandra Sakoma can be classified in some of the following ways depending on location of the tumor in the body, and the type of cells in the tumor. As determined by the pathologist within about two weeks of the surgery, clear cell is commonly considered to be a low-grade subtype and less than 1% of Chandra Sakoma. Conventional is a low-grade conventional malignant cartilage forming tumor and makes up approximately 90% of all Chandra sarcomas. Dedifferentiated, high-grade sarcoma next to a, comprising 6-10% to of all Chandra sarcomas. Extraskeletal myxoid is found in the extremities. Juxtacortic Mesenchymal Peripheral, found on the surface of bone within the cartilaginous cap of a solitary chondroma. Primary. Secondary, due to pre existing benign tumor. The following are other ways in which chondra sarcoma may be described. 1. Non metastatic chondra sarcoma. The cancer is found only in the area where it started and has not spread to other parts of the body. 2. Metastatic Chandra Sakuma. The cancer has spread from where it started to other parts of the body, in most cases, the lung. Patients who have metastatic Chandra Sakoma will rarely receive chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery to remove the cancer that has spread to the lungs. 3. Recurrent Chandra Sakuma. The cancer has come back after it has been treated. It may come back in the area where it started. A recurrence is rarely found in another part of the body. Treatment for recurrent Chandra Sakoma depends on treatment received previously, the original biopsy staging results, the part of the body where the cancer has come back and general condition of the patient, amputation is sometimes necessary and life-saving. What is the possibility of recurrence? Once removed, Chandra sarcoma can come back later, but may not immediately regrow to a size large enough to be symptomatic or as noticeable of the original tumor. It is imperative to have follow-up appointments with the doctor in order to keep track of any further regrowth. Follow-up should include scans. Please click my link in description for more information. Thanks.